Good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys, I'm going to show you four different ways in which you can create unordered bulleted lists. Let's start. Let me click on the create new HTML button guys uh, and let's start with the most obvious. All I need to do is in the properties panel click on this icon with uh, you know when you hover over that item icon it says unordered list. Also guys note that I'm in the I'm in the classic workspace. Cool. So when I click on this icon all I need to do is type in some text enter enter enter. Okay. Now uh, let me collapse some code out here all right guys as you can s notice we have the opening and the closing ul tags and then we have the opening and the closing li tags four of them in fact all right and we have a very basic standard uh, unordered list okay just in case you need to apply the custom uh, bullets all you need to do is just need to click on this plus button which it says uh, the new css rule um, and drop down the contextual selector let's say to a tag uh, make sure that ul is selected as the selector then I'll say ok go to the list category and uh, choose your own custom bullet let's say the green one and say ok and guys you have uh, a custom bulleted list alright just in case you need to increase the line spacing which might be the case many times you need to be in the type category and uh, you can increase the line height let's say to a 200 percent all right or whatever so that was method number one and the most obvious method uh, using the uh, ul li tags cool let's check out the other method out let me copy this a bit of code Control c and let me paste it out here all right now what you need to do is just replace the opening and the closing ul tags with menu tags alright and again guys I have uh, an unordered bulleted list and just in case I need to apply my own custom bullets drop down the contextual selector to a tag make sure that uh, menu is the selector say ok go down to the list category browse for the other bullet okay guys you can um, change the indentation uh, through these two options but I'm leaving it blank right now and uh, let's say okay and guys I have yet another set of uh, bulleted list okay that was method number two uh, let me get on with method number three so I'm gonna copy this much okay paste it out here and uh, for the I'll, I'm gonna replace the opening and the closing uh, menu tags with the DIR tags pretty much gonna do the same thing guys okay so I have yet another uh, unordered list All right so click on the plus button drop down the col contextual selector to a tag make sure that uh, the selector name is uh, DIR I'm gonna say OK and I'm sure you know what to do. Go to the list category, choose your own image, red one this time. OK. I can change the indentation through inside outside, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Straight away say OK and guys I have a third list. So DIR opening closing tags, menu opening closing tags, and UL opening closing tags. There are three different ways in which you can <coughs> create an unordered bulleted list. But uh, more or less uh, the menu and uh, the DIR are deprecated not used uh, a lot these days but just an option All right so let's check the fourth way out cool uh, and the fourth way is a little different from all these ways so let's first insert a div tag let me give it an ID of uh, bullets straight away say okay alright and I need to add in some text so I'm gonna say item 1 enter item 2 enter item 3 right guys if you notice we have opening and the closing div tags which have three paragraph items cool let me select uh, item number one click on the new CSS rule button okay 
automatically the contextual selector will be set to compound compound and uh, hash bullet P will be shown as the selector so which means the selector name will apply a rule to all paragraph elements that are within any HTML elements with the ID bullets which is fine cool all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a colon before pseudo element now what does colon before do guys it adds some content before the paragraph and we'll soon see how does it do it okay so adding of some content before the paragraph let me say okay and straight up I say okay once again I'm gonna hand code the rule alright let me locate the rule first now this is where the rule is a colon before right uh, let me start with the content as I said I need to add or prefix some content before the paragraph so a content then type URL okay I need to get in a picture guys so let me uh, try the green bullet once again and uh, so guys let me take a live view and show you what's happened now guys as you can see uh, I have yet another bulleted list but it's actually touching the text and there's a way you can control the margins very easily and let me show you how right let me fetch that rule once again where is that rule Mm. yeah there it is let me put a semicolon and let's say a margin left of let's say a 10px semicolon let's see how does it affect see guys what's happened it's added some space out here before the bullet cool and then I'm gonna say a margin right as well so a margin right of this time of just five pixels guys that should be enough I guess let me click in the design area and guys you can see we have yet another bulleted list but uh, there's a small problem the interline spacing is a bit too much I think let me control that too let me uh, come off the live view make sure item 1 is selected let me click on this plus button the compound rule uh, will affect para elements inside the hash bullets uh, elements uh, uh, you know the the para within now uh, the pound sign bullets which is fine let me say okay and let me go to the box category and apply a negative margin minus five uh, px let me say okay and let me take a live view guys as you can see the interline spacing which was a bit too much has actually decreased uh, I can let me decrease it a little further let me make it minus eight Hmm, better okay now the last method guys which uses the colon before pseudo uh, element uh, is, 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 is probably the most uh, flexible or the most customizable method because then I can apply the left and the right margins before the bullet the way I want it okay uh, so these are the four different methods guys I knew uh, do you have any more methods that probably you might know that I don't let me know and guys uh, while we are talking about lists uh, I thought before I end the tutorial uh, why not let me talk about uh, the ordered list as well this tutorial hasn't even run into 10 minutes so let me squeeze in uh, the ordered list too let me um, first collapse some area some code alright cool now guys uh, to create an ordered list all I need to do is click on uh, this icon which says one two three and when you hover over says ordered list let me click on that let me type something enter something enter something enter something right so guys the only difference between an ordered and unordered list is that uh, in the unordered list you have the opening and the closing ul tags and here we have the ol tags o for ordered ordered means in some order in some number etc etc okay so guys uh, let me introduce to you uh, an attribute and that attribute is called the type attribute the moment you type uh, type you will get certain options something like let's uh, try a b c d the capital a okay 
and see what difference does it actually make to the list yes so instead of one two three four it says uh, a b c d and let's check out one more attribute this attribute is called the start attribute guys so if I say start and if I say something like um, a 10 out here rather something like um, a 3 out here okay and uh, guys instead of starting with the alphabet A it will start with the alphabet C so A B C that's the third from the start alright guys so that's it I hope you like this tutorial I'll see you very soon bye bye peace